All right, we begin this half hour, though, with former Trump campaign advisor and longtime confidant Roger Stone, who's found himself at the center of the firestorm over James Comey's ouster. Yeah, in fact, multiple reports say he actually advised the president to fire the FBI director. Well, now Stone is the subject of a new documentary on his life. It's called Get Me Roger Stone, and it chronicles his 30-year friendship with Donald Trump. I was like a jockey looking for a horse. You can't win the race if you don't have a horse. I interceded with the Portsmouth, New Hampshire Chamber of Commerce to arrange a lunch. The helicopter landing was as big a news as his speech. This is kind of the first time I saw the power of Trump, the, the public interest in Trump. Roger Stone is here along with the filmmaker, Morgan Peckman. Gentlemen, good morning. Good to see you both. Good morning. I'm not sure how the White House is going to like the whole horse jockey analogy, but we'll get to that in a little while. So you made the headlines again. Because of the firing of James Comey, people are now reporting, and when I say people, the Washington Post, CNN, Politico, New York Times, that you were one of the people who strongly urged President Trump to fire James Comey. True or not true? Uh, I'm not the source of any of those stories. You won't see me quoted in any of those stories. Did you urge President Trump to fire James Comey? I have always taken the position that conversations between the president and I in terms of the scope and the content and the frequency would remain private. I'm not going to contradict the president of the United States here. That said, my views on firing Mr. Comey are extremely well known. Yeah, but, but come on, Roger, don't play fast and loose with me here. Did you have a conversation with him where you said, by the way, this guy needs to go. I, I'm not going to characterize any conversation I've had with the president on this subject or any other. Uh, I do think he needed to go. I think the president did the right thing. I think he has become, he became unaccountable. Just to button it up, fair to say you're not denying that you recommended to the president that he fire Comey. You're not well, denying that. I'm an inveterate memo writer as well, so no, I'm not. Okay. Second part of it, when was the last time you spoke to Mr. Trump? Uh, I, fairly recently, but not yesterday. Would you be surprised if a White House official said it had been months and uh, that, that Donald Trump... Be, that would be incorrect. And Donald Trump himself said it had been a long time. Uh, oh, yeah, a long time. I'm not sure how you define that. Look, you, I, I am a loyal supporter of Donald Trump. I think he has the potential to be a transformational president. I'm not going to contradict him here on the Today Show. I think in the case of James Comey, he made the right decision. You're elated by the firing of James Comey. That's fair yes, to say. Yes, that is fair to say. You tweeted this, quote, what Comey, what Comey did to Hillary Clinton was disgraceful. I'm glad Trump fired him over it. Isn't that a bit disingenuous? Uh, sar a little sarcasm Yeah, I there. mean, you're the guy who said lock her up. One, and you praised one, Julian Assange for leaking the emails. Sometimes one needs to be a bit sarcastic to get attention. Well, were you being sarcastic when you said, I'm glad Trump fired him over it? In other words, it was all about the email investigation, nothing to do with Russia here. Well, uh, the Russian collusion scandal is a scandal without evidence to this day. There is still no evidence that would ever hold up in a U.S. court of law. The investigation so isn't complete, correct? Right, but I, I at least know what's in my emails, and I know what's in my texts, and I know what the context of my phone calls are, and I believe that I was under surveillance for some period. So uh, there's a lot of things you'll find in there, but I'll tell you what you won't find any Russians. But to Matt's initial question, do you in your heart of hearts believe that James Comey was fired by this president because of the Hillary Clinton email issue or because of Russia? That well, had nothing to do with Russia. I think it had to do with the fact that the president no longer had confidence in him, that he had become unaccountable, a law unto himself, investigating some crimes that he felt were important, ignoring others. Uh, I think it was just time for a clean break. Something else you said recently is that somewhere Dick Nixon is smiling. Yes, well, obviously I, alluding to the Saturday Night Massacre, Archibald yes. Cox. You are a history student. Yes. You know that the firing of Archibald Cox set in motion a series of events that led to the downfall of Richard Nixon. Are you worried about history repeating itself? No, because the situations are apples and oranges. I knew the analogy would be made. That's the point of that reference. But Watergate had been at full blast for 18 months. Archibald Cox was investigating Richard Nixon. Donald Trump is not under investigation. Mr. Comey so far has come up empty-handed based on what I have seen. Can we ask just a couple of questions? Has the FBI contacted they you have yet? Not. Still has not contacted have not. you. Has yeah. there been any subpoena from any, have not. from Congress, from a grand jury, well, from any view, federal authority for any of your documents or any information from you? In view of the fact that my lawyers believe that I was hacked and they have all that material, I don't think they need to subpoena it. Have Second, they? 
Have they what? Subpoenaed Subpoena it no, they or have requested not. it no, in they any way, not. shape, or no, form? No, the House and Senate Intelligence Committees have requested documents. We will comply fully with their requests, but since members of both of those committees have disparaged me in public, I'd like the opportunity to testify are you, in public. Are you personally relieved that Comey's no longer on the job in terms of how it relates to any legal jeopardy I have you no, might face? I have no legal jeopardy. The idea of Russian collusion is a canard. It's a falsehood. Morgan, um, we find it hard to pin him down <laughs> on things. <laughs> you spent five years plus following him around to make this documentary. Do you find it as hard to get the true picture of Roger Stone? Roger is a very complex person. That's why we wanted to make this movie about him. Um, you know, I think that Roger has a tendency to take credit for things that he hasn't done, and that may have been the case with this Russian collusion story. But at the same time, as our film demonstrates, Roger has been in the mix of a lot of the most transformative, and depending upon where you fall on the political spectrum, destructive events in our history since Watergate. Uh, Roger, I have to leave it with this and ask you. Morgan has said that this film shows you that, that you are the person other than Donald Trump who deserves the most credit for his presidency. Simple question, do you agree? No, Donald Trump is responsible for his presidency. I'm just his biggest booster. Roger Stone, Morgan Peckma, thank you very much. Get Me Roger Stone debuts on Netflix tomorrow. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.